Oh, you are cordially invited to help celebrate Connecticut's Native American roots. There's going to be a family-friendly day of traditional Native American crafts, food, and dancing. All happening in southeastern Connecticut, the Mohegan tribes behind it. And here once again, back on the show for the first time in a while, our good friend Beth Regan from the Mohegan tribe is here to talk about the Mohegan Wibguam Festival 2024. Good to see you again. Corey Klassum, good morning, Tim. A pleasure. How are you? Anuyam, I am well. Tumpapomaki, how are you? I am also doing well, and I'm excited to learn more. Yeah, I feel like every time we have you on the show, it's a chance for me to learn at least five or six things that I did not know about Native American history, about the Mohegan tribe, and it looks like that is really a central theme of what the Wigwam Festival is going to be about. But before we get to that, just uh, if you could give people sort of a, a quick overview of the Mohegan tribe and what you're sort of hoping to uh, achieve with the festival this weekend. <laughs> Uh, absolutely. Yeah. Well, we, you know, we've been here forever. Mohegan has been here forever from yes. pre-colonization, you know, when there was a little bit more balance amongst Native nations in what we now call Connecticut. Yes. And we are still in Uncasville, the place of where our first sachem, Uncas, mm -hmm. actually split with his Pequot family over policies on colonization. So since those times in the 1600s, we have persevered and held on and here we are today yep. we're going to be celebrating our we've celebrated our 30th year of federal recognition and this coming weekend we have one of our best events and that's the Mohegan Wigwam Festival. Okay where exactly is it happening? It's going to be at Fort Shantock Village of Uncas mm -hmm. where his, he was right there in Uncasville Connecticut. As a matter of fact people can shuttle there free if they go to St. Bernard's High School on yes. Route 32 in Uncasville and we'll shuttle them there free and the Wigwam Festival is also free of charge. And, of course, people are already staying at Mohegan Sun. There's going to be a, a second shuttle just for them Absolutely. to get them over Absolutely. Hotel there. patrons and guests will have a shuttle right there for them. Okay. So what can people expect to see when they get there? Well, I think traditionally what they'll see right away is they'll see we'll have a big tent, although that might not have been traditional. We did have a big arbor before, and you'll see a really nice arbor in front of our tent okay. as well. And what they'll see uh, is vendors selling right. their Native American crafts, including things yeah, like this, for these. example. So what is that? If this is made of wampum, and okay. wampum is a, a the quahog shell, and the quahog shell makes a lot of some of our jewelry. This is a simple wampum earring. I have a pendant on that has wampum. We okay. have jewelry here that is made with wampum as well. Yeah, so these are the nice. kind of things, beaded work. This is all material, or I, excuse me, made with native indigenous materials and modern materials, all done by vendors from all throughout New England, our right. own Mohegan vendors. I'm wearing yes. jewelry from our Mohegan vendors, as well as this. You'll see crafts, mm. you'll see clothing, you'll hear drummers, uh, grand entry. Right. That's right. something that people want, probably want to see right. at noon. Okay. And traditionally, you will see an honor guard bringing in the colors and the flags, our veterans. Right. right. That's and fantastic. And followed by our, tr our tribal leadership. And our, brought in our dancers will be led in by our head lady and head man dancer. Mm -hmm. People will be able to see that, hear the singing and the drumming. Yes. Uh, and quickly, because uh, unfortunately, we're almost out of time. Oh. People who are coming to the festival, mm -hmm. they are your honored guests. But there is some etiquette that you at least want to make sure people understand and follow. Yes? Guest is a perfect term. They are our guests. And just like any guest, when you're on someone's land or home, be respectful. You'll yeah. see people in their traditional regalia. It's not called a costume. It's regalia. It is, it is yes. regalia. You know, if you want to take a picture, you need to ask, ask. about that. Take During, a recording of the, the drumming. Ask. For, ask about yeah. that. Uh, listen to the MC. We mm -hmm. have, there's no alcohol or drugs allowed, uh, no pets or animals. Of course, service animals, of course. Of course. Okay? But just to be respectful and ask is, is, is the etiquette to follow. Right. And that is the best way to learn. As you can see, it's happening Saturday and Sunday right there at Fort Shantok. Thank you so much. Good to see you oh, again, Beth. Thank you. It's always good to see oh, you. A pleasure. A pleasure. Thank you so much.